Hey y'all and welcome back. So, I decided to go get the camera and started doing this. <laughs> so, what I intend to do today is make some air prune beds. I am currently in the process of, well I've already taken this class uh, by Akiva Silver at Twisted Tree Farm. It's called Abundant Propagation. Got my first email the other day and so we're going to start receiving some material here pretty soon. Um, seeds for propagation. Um, my understanding, a number of the seeds are going to be need to be stratified. Uh, Kiva encourages the use of an air prune bed, uh, which is basically a box like this one right here. It's just a square box with hardware cloth on the top. When um, the seed when the seed sprouts in the springtime sends down a taproot, um, goes through, that, that's upside down, goes through the box, hits the hardware cloth and hits the air layer and then air prunes and creates uh, more root mass after that, uh, after it prunes that main taproot. Um, I, I built this one last year out of some scrap wood that I had. I have not used it yet. It just seems a little big. So I'm thinking about making some other ones um, to, to use in this class that are a bit smaller. I'm thinking maybe a two by two or maybe a one by two. Uh, and that's one foot by two foot. And then you put So this is this is this is how it goes. You put soil in here. You lay your seeds in, cover them up, and then you have another another box to put on top of hardware cloth to keep uh, rodents out and whatnot. <coughs> Again. So this one is th this is made out of uh, decking material. It's uh, about 10 inches deep. Um, but again, it sits up off the ground. Like I said, it, it's it's a little big. It's a little big for what I need, and they're hard to move. It would be hard to move around. Um, so I, I got this idea from Akiva. At Twisted Tree Sh Farm and Sean um, over at Edible Acres, I saw I saw these guys doing this. I'm like, hey, that's a great idea. I should, you know, I this is how I should, you know, start start seeds. And my thought was to do it this year, um, but some unforeseen things happened last year, and I didn't get around to doing it. Doing it, okay. Uh, I'm at I'm at a place now where hopefully that that's gonna work so I'm gonna put these together I haven't figured out which uh, which sizes I'm gonna make I might make both I make a, a two by two and a one by two we'll just see see what works all right stay with me In case you were wondering, my sawhorses are holding up the outdoor sink.
Okay, so we're going to make one of these. It's going to be a two by two. Um, so the hardware cloth generally comes in 24 inch rolls. Um, and it just easy math two by two, two two by twos, two by ones. We'll see. I'm going to take a look at the size. So we're going to build this one first and see which ones we want to go with. I rather like this size. It's a little more usable. All right, so that didn't turn out too bad. Uh, the, the first one I did was a little short. My measurement was just a little off. Uh, I was trying to make them two foot by two foot. This one's just a little short, but you can't really even tell. Um, so we'll put hardware cloth on one side and open on the other. Oh. And And this, this one, well, actually, I'm going to make the tops out of, these are 2 by 8s I'm going to make the tops out of 2 by 6s um, There's no need in make them that large, so, at least I don't think so, anyway. <clears throat> it was much more economical. So... So, like I said, um... Not too bad. I'm gonna make the tops now. You guys don't need to watch that. It's gonna be the same. Um, but I'm gonna make those out of two by sixes instead of two by eight. Um, just because I don't think it needs that much. Maybe it does, I don't know. But I have seen where they make these boxes and double stack them like this. Um, and add soil and when the, when the, when they're ready to take them out of the boxes they lift this up and move it out of the way and then you have soil up here and it's easier to get the, uh, the plants out of the box so maybe I'll make some just plain boxes for this purpose I don't know I'm gonna I'm just gonna keep making some and and we'll see what happens okay we'll see be back in a bit. All right, there we go. Got two boxes made, two boxes, two tops. All right, so I'm not sure when the battery died, but I was uh, <laughs> I was jabber jawing about what was going on. Anyway, so I'm done for the day. I'm hungry. I'm standing over here by this door, and these chickens think I'm gonna feed them some grubs. But anyway, tomorrow, I'm just going to be done for the day. Um, 
Tomorrow we'll get some hardware cloth, put the hardware cloth on, and I'll show you guys what it's supposed to look like. Um, I could put runners on the bottom to keep it off the ground, but I think I'll just use, uh, we have plenty of bricks and um, tinder blocks, so maybe I'll just do that. I don't know. If I got enough, if I got enough extra wood, I, I got plenty of scrap wood over here, maybe I'll put some runners on too, just, in, just to be on the safe side. I'm hot and tired, so I'm going to call it for the day, and we'll see you guys in the morning. Well, good afternoon. So we're back at this uh, project for these air prune beds. I'm going to take apart this cage right here uh, that Clara was kept in uh, for two and a half years and salvage the some of the parts and possibly some of uh, the hardware cloth uh, to use on these air prune beds. All right, that was a little more difficult than I thought. I was able to salvage some lumber from it and two pieces of hardware cloth. Unfortunately, somebody has cut them off short, so they are not two foot wide. Um, but luckily, uh, I think I'll make it work because I made the boxes are outside edge to outside edge or two feet by two feet so it might work we'll see oh, okay so I'm gonna clean the edges up here I don't know if you can see that I'm gonna snip these ends off just to Cause these hurt you cut with them it stings like crazy because it's galvanized so I'm gonna go ahead and do this and then we're gonna get them on and see um, see how it fits Even? Mm -hmm. Does it look even? Okay. Good lord. What? It's a heavy hammer and you need a nail gun. Well, sure, I'll, I'll be more than happy to take a <laughs> nail gun if you want to run out and buy me one. <laughs>
I was able to get three of them done today that have hardware cloth on them. Uh, two bottoms and one top. However, I could use the other one as a spacer, like in between. Here, let me show you. So I put runners on this one. So it's going to sit. You can take a spacer so you'll have more soil. And then a top. There you go. <laughs> Or you can just have, like this is 8 inch, this is 6 inch, and this is like this, right? Air prune beds, there you go. So I was thinking about making some more spacers. Um, I definitely want two. I d definitely want two of these boxes. Uh, complete so I need to find or come up with some uh, more hardware cloth come up with some more hardware cloth for the next one uh, but I'm thinking about making a couple more spacers I don't know if I want to make them 8 inch or 6 inch um, we'll see hey everybody so I got cleaned up it's been a long day today got those boxes made um, probably finish some more probably tomorrow if it doesn't rain I think it's I think it's gonna rain though but really what I wanted to say is uh, those boxes are inspired by Akiva at Twisted Tree Farm and Sean at Edible Acres uh, I've been following Sean and Akiva both uh, for a few years now and uh, the wealth of knowledge that these two guys present in their videos is incredible to me. Both these gentlemen have permaculture nurseries in which they sell plants and trees specifically um, twice a year in the spring and in the fall. Um, a lot of times I, I miss out when they when they open up things they sell out rather quickly. Um, I'll leave links in the description to both of those guys um, web pages and their YouTube channels um, Akiva also has a book um, that he has put out um, trees of power uh, this this thing is incredible I, uh, the way the, the way it's written I was I was I pleasantly surprised and I wouldn't encourage anybody that's in, interested in tree propagation to get Akiva's book, Trees of Power. Um, so with that said, uh, I'm going to sign off for the night and uh, I'm gonna get some food, uh, something to drink, because good, it was it was warm today. It wasn't real sunny, but it was warm. Um, I'm probably a bit dehydrated. Uh, so. Y'all have a nice evening, and we'll see you on the next one.